The Dick Van Dyke Show, which aired from 1961 to 1966, is widely regarded as one of the most beloved and influential sitcoms in television history. Created by Carl Reiner, this classic series revolves around the comedic mishaps and everyday adventures of a television writer named Rob Petrie, played brilliantly by the charismatic Dick Van Dyke himself. The show's enduring popularity can be attributed to various factors that captivated audiences during its time and continue to resonate with viewers today. One key aspect that contributed to the show's immense success was its clever writing and sharp comedic timing. The scripts were expertly crafted, filled with witty banter, and delivered with impeccable comedic performances, making audiences burst into laughter week after week. The show's humor was often derived from the relatable situations, and the endearing characters who brought them to life. Speaking of characters, the cast of The Dick Van Dyke Show was truly exceptional. In addition to Dick Van Dyke's impeccable portrayal of Rob Petrie, the series featured an ensemble of talented actors and actresses who brought their own unique flair to the show. Mary Tyler Moore portrayed the lovable and spirited Laura Petrie, Rob's wife. Her impeccable comedic timing and chemistry with Van Dyke helped establish the show's dynamic and contributed to its enduring charm. The stellar supporting cast included Rose Marie as the quick-witted and sharp-tongued Sally Rogers, Maury Amsterdam as Buddy Sorrel, Rob's wisecracking co-writer, and Richard Deacon as the dry-humored Mel Cooley. The Dick Van Dyke show resonated with audiences of the time and continues to do so today because of its timeless humor, relatable characters, and expert storytelling. The show tackled everyday situations with wit and warmth, offering a humorous reflection of the joys and challenges of family life and the entertainment industry. Its enduring popularity has inspired generations of sitcoms and has solidified its place in television history. Do you have any fond memories of The Dick Van Dyke Show? Perhaps you recall the witty banter between Rob and Laura, or the hilarious antics of Sally and Buddy. This iconic series has touched the hearts of many, and it remains a testament to the timeless appeal of quality comedy. The Dick Van Show, a 1961 television series, faced initial cancellation by CBS. However, its creators and supporters rallied. Sheldon Leonard, a key figure, traveled to Procter & Gamble in Cincinnati to secure sponsorship. Inspired, Procter & Gamble agreed to sponsor half a season, and L'Oreal Tobacco Company joined in. With renewed support, CBS picked up the show for a second season, after having canceled it. The Dick Van Show became beloved, running for five years and leaving a lasting mark on television. Its journey exemplifies determination and faith in creative endeavors. The Dick Van Show, a classic 1960s TV series, left an indelible mark on comedy and sitcoms. It inspired shows like Mad About You, which showcased the everyday lives of a couple in New York City. The influence of the Dick Van Show on Mad About You is evident in their relatable situations, witty banter, and clever writing. Carl Reiner, creator of the Dick Van Show, made a guest appearance on Mad About You, reprising his role as Alan Brady. This crossover episode bridged the gap between generations and highlighted the enduring impact of both shows. The Dick Van Show's influence on Mad About You laid the foundation for future sitcoms, leaving an indelible mark on television. Dick Van, a talented actor, took a daring leap when he starred in The Dick Van Show in 1961. Despite his success in Broadway, he risked it all for television. Leaving behind a Tony-winning role, he embraced the unknown, driven by his belief in the project and his own abilities. The show's premiere captivated audiences with Van's wit and charm, solidifying his place in TV history. This gamble paid off immensely, providing a platform for his talent and shaping his illustrious career. Van's story reminds us to embrace risks and follow our instincts for greatness. The Dick Van Show was a beloved TV series in America. Mary Tyler Moore fibbed about her age to land the role of Laura Petrie, leading to a storyline in the episode Laura's Little Lie. To rectify the situation caused by her false age declaration, Rob and Laura remarry in very old shoes, very old rice. The episode showcases their love and commitment while adding authenticity to the show. Mary Tyler Moore's portrayal of Laura brought talent and charisma to the series. The impact of small details is evident in this fascinating aspect of The Dick Van Show, creating memorable episodes. 
the show remains a classic with relatable characters. This intriguing anecdote of age deception by Mary Tyler Moore will continue to amuse fans. The Dick Van Show, My Blonde Haired Brunette takes us back to the 1960s, a time when television was evolving rapidly. Dick Van, a charismatic actor, starred in the hit sitcom that captured hearts with its talented ensemble cast. One standout member was Mary Tyler Moore, whose rapid development as an actress led to her showcase episode, My Blonde Haired Brunette. A mix-up at the beauty salon turns Moore's character, Laura Petrie, into a bumbling housewife with dyed hair, leading to comedic events and hidden mishaps. Moore's comedic timing and natural charm shine throughout, supported by the impeccable cast chemistry. This episode became a launching pad for her career, solidifying her as a beloved actress. Experience the timeless appeal of the Dick Van Show and the talents of its cast, as my blonde-haired brunette leaves a lasting mark on television history. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this classic filled with laughter and heart. In the captivating world of television history, a tale emerges about the iconic series The Dick Van Show. In 1961, the show premiered and still holds a special place in fans' hearts. One intriguing anecdote revolves around Sylvia Miles, an Oscar-nominated actress sought by Danny Thomas for a role in the show. Miles, loyal to her theatrical roots, declined the television role despite the meager pay. She foresaw a limited future for the role and yearned for a diverse acting career on stage and screen. The Dick Van Show achieved immense success, but one wonders how Miles' presence would have shaped the series. Nevertheless, Sylvia Miles embraced her chosen journey, leaving her mark in cinema with unforgettable performances. Her determination and artistic integrity solidified her status as a fearless force in the entertainment industry. Reflecting on Myla's tale, we are reminded of the unpredictable nature of success and the choices that shape our lives. Her decision to prioritize theater over immediate fame and stability showcased her unwavering commitment to her craft. Sylvia Myla's story is a testament to following one's passion and staying true to oneself ultimately leading to a remarkable journey and an enduring legacy for future generations. The Dick Van Show, a beloved TV series from 1961, left an indelible mark on audiences with its charm and humor. Rob and Laura Petrie, portrayed by Dick Van and Mary Tyler Moore, became relatable icons through their chemistry and comedic timing. The show's attention to detail included the Petrie's phone number, 636-9970, revealed in the episode The Impractical Joke. This seemingly insignificant piece of information became a cherished trivia tidbit, symbolizing the show's lasting impact. As the years passed, it evoked nostalgia for a bygone era of family sitcoms. Dialing those seven numbers transported fans back to the show's magic, laughter, and timeless storytelling. The Petri's number, etched in television history, serves as a reminder of the power of ordinary details and the enduring legacy of a classic sitcom. It encapsulates the profound connection between laughter, love, and memorable characters. The Dick Van Show continues to captivate audiences, celebrating the magic of television and the generations of fans who embraced its warmth and charm. Dial those seven numbers and let comedy reign.